He just goes for it. Boom. And then runs into the ref, but just gives him a hug instead. <laughs> Let's hit this record button real quick. All right. My internet should be stable this time from the last time I tried doing this business. Okay. All right. Uh, where's my list? All right. So in no particular order, we're going to go back through these. Um... Where's my, where's my playlist? There it is. Okay, cool. I guess I could have just lined them all up on the VLC playlist, but I'm terrible, so it's whatever. Uh, all right, we're going to go with Teo Martinez's highlight, which is with a cross guard. It will be at 414. That's a big bang. Uh, it is a defensive action with the cross guard where he catches the blade and throws it to the side. We're just doing a brief recap. So fast. It looks like it looks like Richard gets it. Richard openly admits that he did not he did not get it. <laughs> uh, but here we go. Just a quick slow mo. He shoots, Teo catches it with the cross guard, throws it away, and it just kind of goes out and then in for a headshot. Boom. Sweet. Uh, the next one is a twofer, which I think was the one we left off on, to be honest. Uh, yeah. We're going to start here with... Uh, Erwin with a very quick defensive action. It's like a sidestep bolt deflect repost. <laughs> Super quick. A lot of deliberation from the judges and Mr. Commissioner Kang over here. Supreme Leader Kang. Uh, then we go, we fast forward a little bit in the same footage, uh, to Richard's highlight. Uh, and keep in mind, these are all, these are all personal highlights for me. Um, these are all the ones, let's see what you think is a hit is sometimes like, nah, JK, bro. I defended that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and I totally agree with you, man. Uh, oh yeah, it's Rob. Uh, I totally agree that that cross guard. If you're not familiar with it, it's kind of like dual wielding too. Like there's a couple of things that are allowed to be hit now that you have to watch out for. So, uh, no, I'm not doing week one analysis. I actually went through all three weeks of footage uh, since about eleven o'clock this morning, uh, and I and I just kind of broke down everything. I even have like so like here's here's my list. These are just my three weeks. Uh, I didn't even get to finals, so I can probably do finals on a stream probably this weekend. Uh, and then I even have, like, honorable mentions. Um, unfortunately, I put myself on there a lot, and I hate that I did that. But I had some pretty good maneuvers that stood out um, just from people in general. Yeah, dude, that finals battle for sure. I'm kind of tentative of even using that battle just for uh <laughs> uh for for structural integrity <laughs> exactly yeah yeah the calls kind of were all over the place we were correcting we were honoring quite a lot of calls so uh i'll i'll look through it again um i haven't even looked through the footage uh from finals so uh all right so we're going to go straight. Oh, I don't know why I shut down my phone. I need my notepad here. Um, okay, so Richard Liang comes back at Erwin with his own defensive action. Um, it, it's like a it's like a flunge. Uh, he goes in with a flunge. Uh, oh, shoot. I didn't go back far enough. 
<laughs> yeah, he really does. And, and I mean, he's a big dude, so like you kind of don't see it coming half the time. So yeah, boom, knocks that out of the way. Get that shit out of here, and pow, right on the forearm. Cool. Uh, next one is gonna be. Uh, 12. This is uh, Jacob versus Max. Two, 227. That was by far one of the coolest looking ones. Like, it was it was so interesting to even see this one. AFK, we should count how many times he does it. <laughs> oh my god, that would that would add like a whole entire hour of just me like breaking down his flunge. Um from week one and like finals. Uh but yeah, so this is this is Max Whitaker's uh my personal favorite Max Whitaker play. Um this is gnarly. Like this this defensive action almost in in like full motion it does not feel like it would have worked or it should have worked and then it somehow did um yeah. like oh, actually we'll just do it we'll do it full speed one more time so it's like uh, it just looks like there should have been some sort of, uh, like, misparry or something in between that. And there wasn't. That's blade on blade. That's a hard block. And he wraps it while Jacob's still trying to uh, recover. And he never fully recovers because he actually straight arms... Uh, where's my John Madden style? Um, oh, that's not it. What, what was that? There you go. That's, that's really big. Don't do that. Um, oh, I can't make this window smaller. Okay. Yeah. He, he straightens out instead of coming back down. Uh, for and then Max and just Max just comes straight straight down on top. Boom. Such a beautiful play. Like it's one of those like good thing we caught it on video. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh next up is my favorite my personal highlight for uh, Jamar Johnson. Uh, here's the crazy part about this. I actually have a lot of plays I enjoy from Jamar. Um, uh, some of them are like, let's see, on just the honorable mentions alone uh, for week one, I have three. So we'll, if I have time, we'll get to the honorable mentions. Because some of them are like, they're not necessarily points or maybe the... Refs didn't see it properly, so therefore it wasn't counted as proper points, or something happened, or maybe they it just it was just a cool move. Um, so I so I threw in some honorable mentions. Uh, Jamar's on three of them, <laughs> uh, but but this is my uh, number one maneuver from Jamar. Let's see, uh, one eighteen in. Oh, let's do the whole exchange. Shoot. That can't be it. There's no way. <laughs> Did I remove the wrong one? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's why. No, 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 that's definitely it. Um, so some of the other maneuvers he had uh, was like a an evasion bonus, um, which didn't get called as an evasion bonus. Um, he moved out of a massive foot pick with some really good footwork. 
uh and then um and then it was just some fun funny business um but this this was such great recovery on his behalf uh because he completely misses but then brings it right back for a tap And, we'll, and it happens so fast. That's why I was like, when I originally was like, oh, this can't be the one. It's definitely the one. <laughs> and honestly, I'm surprised the refs caught that because that was gnarly. Let's see. Next up is... Jacobs and he'll be the last one from week one um, I pretty much tried to get everyone who competed with some sort of highlight uh, it was kind of hard with some uh, some of the the competitors because uh, some competitors just are brand new uh, or or super inexperienced um, and and so their move pools aren't as uh, wide or vibrant um or it's just you know two move <laughs> they only have two moves and that just happen to work for them uh some of them do get lucky so i i think i got some pretty good ones throughout all three all three weeks uh so it's the last fight of the night for week one uh, and we're gonna go to oh actually okay i remember this so this is a two-parter and the reason why it's a two-parter is because uh it's a very simple move. Uh, uh, it's such a simple move that I was like, dang, good on him. Uh, so we'll just play it. Super brutal, super straightforward headshot. Um, but, but the only reason why I made this part, like my favorite for the highlight is because he actually backs it up. Let's see. 132. And here's the second play. Exact same maneuver. <laughs> uh, and I, I, I just thought I, like Richard tried to go for the foot pick again uh, and fell short straight to the head. Uh, from here, we're going to move into week two. Week two, week two. All right. For week two, uh, looks like we start out with me. Um, and honestly, this one was a three parter. Uh, I mean, I guess I threw them, I ended up adding the other two parts, uh, into honorable mentions, but they're literally one right after the other. So, uh, it's the only reason why I'm just going to do them right now. Eh, no, I'll do it later. I shouldn't have special privileges. Uh, it wasn't super clean, but it was a uh, bolt headshot or uh, assault, however you want to view that. Um, it's not much to it. I saw that I had to clear distance. Uh, as we were playing a, a range game at this point, um, this is typically how me and a lot, uh, William fight each other. Uh, a lot of uh, tip picks usually, and I think that's how a lot of this fight ends up going too. A lot of hand picks. Um, so we're just going back and forth, back and forth. 
And I was like, I gotta clear the distance. Boom. And I mean, it wasn't clean, but uh, a headshot is always two points now. And I, I just didn't want to crash into him. <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, the next one is another William fight, except he's versus uh, Kieran. Kieran? I think I'm saying his name right. Kieran Hale. Uh, where is it? There it is. Oh, this is the first move of the... Of the fight. Okay. So the funny part is this isn't uh, a William clip either. Uh, this is a uh, uh, a Kieran uh, clip. <laughs> it's a two-parter. <laughs> he goes in. He goes in deep for that uh, that that flying headshot. Um, similar to what I recently just got, uh, and then he follows up with a, uh, a little influencing the referee, <laughs> uh, with a hug. So, um, as we, as we mentioned, uh, got, did I do it on a stream? Um, well, Kieran's got a, a leg brace. He recently, uh, recovered from a, a pretty major injury. I don't know all the details, but, uh, his movement is kind of impaired, but he he pulls it off pretty well with some of the moves he does. So we'll just watch it in a slow speed here. Oh, he just goes for it. Boom. And then runs into the ref, but just gives him a hug instead. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I think that's kind of what held him back through most of the tournament is he was trying to figure out his limits still um, with the brace, uh, but he really did pull through on a lot of a lot of his matches. Um, but but that by far was impressive alone, just for the ability to to be that aggressive, uh, get the headshot first, and not break the judge's back on the way back. <laughs> Um, so the next one is actually in the same clip, and this one is a William clip. So this is kind of like a catch and release, uh, Perry repost maneuver, and, uh, I really like the way it look. Oh, let's go back. Any day now. There you go. And we go. There you go. Now, it kind of looks like it might have been a mitter, but it is so close to call at this, like, bro fist moment. Um, but if you, as you see, it kind of slid up, so it would be hard to call on that one. But what he does is he literally hard stops it and then throws it back. <laughs> Before I hit. Um, but then you can notice that Kieran has to hop back a little bit. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is that you? What? Oh, that is you. Okay. That was weird. All of a sudden, your... Uh, uh, your your mic just went major fan mode. This out of nowhere though. Hmm. Well, I have. I do have my fan on because it's hot as. Well. Yeah, it's so crazy though. I haven't heard it until now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, next one is Rue versus Jeremiah. Where is it? Um, this one's going to be 53 seconds. This is a real clip. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Actually, this is kind of a two-part clip. Um, I remember this very vividly uh, from watching it because this is actually probably my favorite exchange throughout the whole tournament. And, like, that's really big. And I know it's, like, my homie, right? <laughs> like, this is real we're talking about. But it's... Yeah. Dude, this is the best, literally the best exchange the whole tournament. Like, I, I don't think there was one, one that was better. Um... I could be wrong. I still have a lot more footage to go through through the finals and stuff. Uh, but let's let's just let's just run it. <laughs> and of course, everybody's getting pumped. So, so obviously, Rue and I typically do stuff like this a lot. Um, but it's because he's really good at tempo fighting. Uh, so, and, and Jeremiah literally proved his worth with the adults this whole entire tournament because he really brought it. Um, so he misses that and then immediately follows up and lands right across the hand. Yeah. Yeah, this is just it's just such a good they end up giving him the defensive bonus, of course, uh because of the rally. Let's uh let's go all the way back and just watch it one more time in full speed cuz it's just it's just such a good rally. It's I do appreciate Jeremiah's like stop, breathe, reset. Uh because that's what you typically have to do. No, I actually looked through each one of these things, and there was a few of them on both sides that could have possibly been a miss parry, but because there was no metal sounds or even glove sounds attached to them, or like one of those tick tack noises, uh, it it most likely was not a miss parry. It was just probably the angle that we were that we're stuck at. All right, next up is actually a farmer clip. I found a farmer clip. I know I was talking ish on him <laughs> in Discord, but I found a farmer clip and I don't remember what it is. Uh, but it is from our rematch. Um, for those that don't know, uh, we ended up essentially tying for third place at the end of our pools. Uh, I believe we each were four and two. Um, and I think we had the exact same points too. Which is like, who knew? <laughs> like, didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, so, so that alone was impressive. Uh, kind of sucks that we're both from the same base and therefore have to eliminate one another. Um, but he did beat me in our pool matches, and then, and then I beat him in the in the the tiebreaker match essentially. But. Uh, Let's go ahead and where'd it go? Let's get to that. Um, there it is. Uh oh. Uh, where are we at? Three thirty five. I I will point out that the big difference it's not even a big difference the only difference between this match and our original match is uh I went from using the shorty hilt to using the V2 so I have a little bit of extra reach <laughs>
All right, let's watch that in slow motion. It was just such, it was such a dedicated but lazy like recovery uh, that I actually enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, and I actually remember being hit by it. I was pretty upset at myself for letting it happen. <laughs> All right. Um, Next up is myself versus Walter Symbol. Uh, this is a this is a Walter clip. Now again, this is another two-fold one. Uh, <laughs> uh, Walter's really good at uh, doing follow-up combos. Um, the big funny part, though, is uh, that nobody actually saw the hit. Um, and I think from this angle, you can't even see the hit. So he actually lands right on my chest. And so I turn thinking that Jose saw it. Like he had to have seen it or maybe like, I don't know about hearing it because it was such a light touch. Um, but I turned around and I'm like, okay, I'm over it. <laughs> and Walter's like, wait a minute. There's no break called yet. And falls up. And I'm like, oh, wait, no, you got me, bro. <laughs> I do appreciate the follow-up, though. There's actually a couple of times where uh, an exchange like this happens, and I believe one of them is a Jamar Johnson call. Yeah, it is. Where the opponent's trying to give up the point, but because uh, the, the, the refs didn't call it, and then uh, no breaks called or anything. Um, okay, so yeah, that was a that was a fun one. Uh, okay, Jeremiah. Solid defensive action. And that was actually the clear. Uh, he ended up shutting shutting out uh, Kieran with that one. Deflect. Instant return. And that was a deep return. Yeah, that's that's like playbook style right there. One more time, full motion. Yeah, like you can't you can't get more clear than that. All right. From then on, we're moving on to week three. Uh, first one is Rob Chan versus Rico. This is a Rico clip, I believe. Rico with the fade away. <laughs> I don't even like, yeah, it's just a fade away float. Rob goes in deep, not deep enough. And Rico just follows up with a little short hop skippity do backwards and lands it right on the back of the arm. <laughs> 
I, I, Rico's really good at these um at these floats, uh, forward or backwards. Um, I believe Fonzie actually started getting a couple of them as well, but uh, Rico's definitely the one in our group to to utilize them the most. Uh, next one, geez, Rob, you're in like all of these. Uh, Rob Chan versus, uh, Fonzie. Um. Man, I, I still wish Fonzie would have been able to pull off at least. You know what? Side. This one's close. <laughs> I, I know he got close a couple times, too. Now, now I don't fully agree with the judges on this one. Uh, I think Tony was trying to counter it a little bit, um, but it's this is this was this one was definitely a, yeah you did actually I was just getting to that Rob. Um, so so I think I think that's what uh, Tony was alluding to as well. But um, we can we can play by play this, and it and honestly it, it probably was more simultaneous. So the initial swing is a miss. And whether or not whether or not the contact happens Oh shoot. Uh happens here first. Uh before this lands, because this hasn't connected yet. Um is is hard to tell from this angle. You can tell for sure you con it connects here though. It may or may not have dragged again. The angle's kind of hard, um, so I don't I don't agree on a clean hit. But the maneuver was this is a typical this is a typical Fonzie maneuver like hit the hit the dirt, <laughs> and it and it worked. Yeah. It wasn't a slide, but but he got there. Uh, one more time, full speed. Ah, uh, yeah, see, th see, that makes more sense. Um, they ended up, I believe they still ended up ruling it a clean hit, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, it, it is kind of hard to see the exact time. I mean, you were in motion. You just missed for the first the first half of your swing. <laughs> Full motion. Again, really hard to s Yeah, that's so hard. Um, all right. Next one is, okay. This is a, this is a Rob versus, uh, oh my gosh. What's his name? His last name's O'Brien. I can't think of what his first name at the moment. Uh, he's a TSL fighter. Um, Clint, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Clint O'Brien. Okay. This, so, so this is uh Rob versus, uh, Clint. Uh, and this is an actual, um, Rob clip. Once I find it, there it is. Oh God, yeah, this video starts out strong. Um, actually, let's just let that play out because. <laughs> so that's that's not the it's not the clip. I forget which fight it was, but at some point you can hear Joanna in like the side, um, <laughs> making jokes uh, about Rob actually blocking, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know who it was. It was like Rob blocking? No way! <laughs> I was laughing. I was laughing pretty hard. Uh, let's see. Here. Yeah. Okay. Ah, yeah, that was a solid exchange. Even frame by frame, I can't fully understand what happened. I think it was just a loss of grip along with some weird torque uh, in the blades. Uh, but that that is, I, I remembered seeing this happen. I just didn't see what led up. 
so we got a miss. We got a, another miss <laughs> to a weird blade action. Uh, and then there's a hit there somewhere. And then something happens with that saber. From this angle, it's kind of hard to tell. You got him in the fingers. Okay. Yeah, he, he has our, his back to the, the camera, so it's really hard to see. We'll do it full speed. Yeah, yeah, probably. And then he just like releases the hand. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. That I think that's our only disarm, uh, like actual disarm for the whole tournament. Uh, next up, we have Joanna versus Clint. You had another one. Do you remember which fight that was? Jeremiah. Oh, in the finals. Okay, okay. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll, I will definitely go through that, and I'll probably do a stream uh, tentative Saturday. All right, Joanna versus Clint. We're going to go to 246. So Joanna actually goes over two points <laughs> for this win, uh, and shuts and shuts Clint out ten to zero off of that play. And here it is, frame by frame. So he reaches, misses, reaches again towards the head and misses. Freaking Joanna's got the lean going on here. <laughs> She's boxing herself in like Rue does in a corner. She deflects, throws it away, and it completely misses the side of her body for a shoulder smack. And then a follow-up on the leg. Um, Clint did kind of, uh, just like a little overview, Clint did kind of box himself in here because she was leading 7-0 to zero and there was only like 45 seconds left. Uh, and there's a lot of stare downs this whole entire match trying to read each other. Playing the clock sucks when you're behind on points. Um, next is Clint versus Fonzie. Go 44 seconds in. Defensive action. So he actually goes for a hit and they kind of just deflect down. And then he follows it up. Fonzie did not get the follow-up in time. Because it's a first land action, Clint gets the defensive bonus. Uh, we'll do it one more time, full speed. Yeah, that's a good read. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have Clint versus Zitzidi. Am I saying that right? I can't spell it. I just remember hearing it. <laughs> Uh, let's see, where is it? Right here. Definitely not saying that right? Okay, that's fine.
it starts with like a teasy eye or something, and I I just can't. I can't. Anyway, this is her first. Uh, this is her first tournament. She kind of is like last member, late entry. Um, so she actually did pretty well. Um, I think it's C T T sorry. I I apologize so hard for not being able to say this name. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, so this is actually her clip, 140, and I believe this is a, her only win. Uh, there's a lot of circling, actually, now that I, <laughs> you're guessing too? Yeah. <laughs> So that, that was crazy in itself. Um, being able to see specifically what happened uh, is is really hard. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and frame by frame this. Uh, the, the refs are calling a uh, Miss Perry in favor uh, of uh, Miss Rodriguez. <laughs> So they lock blades, they start twirling, and it does look like she connects first. Uh, and then uh, Clint will lay it up. There it is. There's his Miss Perry. It's just a very interesting exchange. You do not see that very often with light speed. You see it with like mid grades or heavies. We'll go again full full term. Yeah, very, very, very interesting. All right. Now, last one, last clip I have is uh, uh, Priscilla Hale uh, versus uh, T. Sari. C. Sari. <laughs> Where is it? I lost it. There it is. Let's get ready to rumble. Copyright, copyright. We're gonna go deep into this video. Also Priscilla's first uh, tournament. Boom. <laughs> Very interesting exchange. Um, so, uh, so she actually throws a pretty solid feint. She goes up. She she fakes up, and then shoots low. Flute begins to play. Fakes low, and uh, what ends up happening is. Uh, Pink comes in from behind, and actually, you can see it flick out the um, Velcro. Boom. <laughs> and that's why the mask comes flying off. Complete accident. <laughs> God, I haven't heard that song in a long time. Uh, but yeah, this is a, this is just a very interesting exchange. 
Uh, but I really enjoyed the faint. <laughs> all right um let's see how much time do i have left i have a couple minutes let's throw some uh, honorable mentions out there let's go with uh jamar johnson uh yes so so this one this one alone was super interesting because it's a uh, it's a maneuver you don't see very often, uh, especially at tournament level. Um, it happens every once in a while during sparring. I know Kang has quite a few videos up, uh, but two thirty five. So so this is gonna happen really really fast. Let's see Rico versus Fonzie. Uh, I think I actually have that one on the list. I do have that one on the list. Um, so, so this is going to happen really fast and it's going to be like, it's going to look weird and I don't fully agree with the judges calls. Right, let's go again. So they're backwards. Uh, the other view of what, Sam? Um, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna backtrack this a little bit. Um, so. Based off of my angle, obviously the judges might have a much different angle, but based off of this angle here, uh, what happens is Jamar gets a really quick hand pick. Super quick. Boom. Right? And then the white blade actually doesn't connect because uh, you'll notice that it's on the outside of the, the blade now. Uh, and he just throws it away. So... That's technically an evasion bonus. Uh, it's like a parry repost, um, but instead of uh, blocking then returning, you're attacking then blocking. Super rare to see. I kind of wish this was caught and uh, given its credit where credit's due. Uh, and then we're going to go with a funny clip. Uh, with Jamar out of this one, uh, is it five? Yeah. So, so this this happens. Like, obviously something just happened, right? Um, I will just go full, full. We'll full send it, and then we'll then we'll break it down. <laughs> no break was called no break was called so jamar decided to follow up which is totally fine um it looks like richard landed here uh with a follow-up uh onto him and no break was called so he just kept fighting All right, uh, I have a Irwin clip. Uh, it's a, it's a two-fold clip, and I can't show it because for whatever reason, I can't download the video. Um, so that's unfortunate. Uh, let's see here. Next up are my two hand picks to... To William. Uh, the reason why I threw these in here is because uh, it followed the video that I had earlier. Uh, shoot. With my uh, my bolt to the head. That's at 205.
especially being down uh, three six. Uh oh, I might have to reset this. Mm, I'm having a lockup. All right, give me one second. All right, bear with me one second. I think my video player crashed. Should be fine. Let's try this again. All right, there we go. So there's the bolt to the head. And we're going to skip ahead a little bit. Put us at five to six. Now, now as I mentioned uh, in a in a past um, a past stream, uh, I was suffering from a blister on my uh, left foot, so it's my my back foot. Um, so I was trying to minimize movement. So, so the reason why I liked these plays is because I was just, I was just over it and still landing the shots uh, with one move. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, which doesn't happen very often <laughs> uh, for anybody to actually hit the bait. And then I just picked the hand real quick right afterwards. So uh, just made it easy. <laughs> uh, all right. Next up is assuming my computer doesn't die. Um, one second while I double check this. Okay. Uh, all right. So where are we at? Oh, here you go. Uh, me versus Rue, uh, mostly because I'm upset by it, but like not upset enough to cry. Just, it's such a good shot, um, and we practice really soft touches like these uh, all the time. <laughs> oh no, everything's freezing. There it is. So simple. So we'll it's it's such a light touch that Oh god, I wish I could upgrade it with 390. I'm actually on a laptop, so I just need to build a rig in in general. All right. Oh shoot. There we go. All right, I guess we'll do. We'll try to do full speed again. <laughs> S 
such a soft touch. So we're going to go back a little bit. And we're just going to frame by frame this. Like I said, we practice stuff like this all the time. Fights like an elf. <laughs> uh, we <laughs> he has a <laughs> a self made nickname that I am not allowed to say of, say on stream. Uh, we can't really use it <laughs> for fighting either. So when we meet up uh, <laughs> sometime in the near future, we'll definitely let you all in <laughs> on that one. It's actually one of his Discord names. It's great. Oh my god, frame harder. So I completely miss. And he goes up and over. With the softest touch hook imaginable. All right, next up. Oh my god. Oh, we're back. Okay, cool. That was interesting. All right, uh, okay, so, okay, this is, I don't know what's, I, I mean, I guess I should just wrap it up, uh, if everything's gonna just keep dying on me. <laughs> I think that's a, I think it's a sign. I do have to pack it up anyway, I do have work tonight. Um, let's see, all right, I, you did request, you did request the Fonzie and Rico fight, so, um. Where is it? Oh, duh, it's in week three. So the one the one that I wanted to show, the one part I wanted to show for sure is this. <laughs> so, I don't know. Can you hear that on stream? Yeah, you can hear that on stream. Okay, cool. So, so a thing we do is we do a lot of, like, target practice on, um, uh, I was gonna fight with yeah so he he has like a little fun bow that he does which is always starts with a reverse grip <laughs> um but he uh we do this really fun thing that we do for target practice i just call them challenge modes and uh when they hit four to four i just said uh, headshots only <laughs> um which is really something we play with all the time so for him to actually go for that flying a flying headshot and at least try to get it. We just got like flapping wings blade action over here. Uh I was pretty happy about it. <laughs> um but yeah, Fonzie always starts in this reverse grip. Uh cuz that's his salute. Oh, yeah. 
Um, and uh, he he's also has a boxing background, which is more why he has like a square. He squares up. Uh, but we're going to wrap it up for now. Uh, I wish the stream went a little bit more smoothly tonight. I was, uh, fab stance. <laughs> I like that. I'll, uh, I'll tell him that he does have a very unorthodox stance. He's only been, um, Fighting with lightsabers with us for, I want to say almost a year now. I I think he started last June or July. Uh, he's he's been a he's actually one of my best friends of the past like twenty twenty five twenty six years or something like that. But uh, but he never joined us for lightsabers or anything because he didn't know we were doing lightsabers, uh, and he joined actually he brought farmer and another friend of theirs uh to one of our meets one time when i wasn't there and uh and they're like oh yeah these people came over and wanted to join in they're friends of ours and i was like oh okay cool and then they started coming more and more and i was like oh dude i know this guy <laughs> so um so he's been He's he's been quickly uh proving himself within our ranks even for being with us for for a short amount of time uh he's uh every Friday night man every Friday night we actually stream every Friday night as well uh so um you can catch that uh on this channel and uh we do have um we we try to do uh live reviews too every once in a while of our practices uh just because i like to i like to talk shit at my guys uh but uh we meet uh we typically start showing up at our spot around seven o'clock uh practice starts around eight o'clock depending on how often people you know people got work and stuff so um we meet behind a comic book place called the com x Kami X Lounge, C O M I X L O U N G E. Uh, I'll just do this. Uh, Comics Lounge. Oh, if I can spell properly, Jesus. Um. Huh? Do I? Oh, okay. I need to update that to give the actual address, I guess. Um, we meet in the back lot. It's a private lot. It's super cool. Uh, we're probably looking to host, uh, maybe the next tournament, uh, in the next month or two. Um, uh, it really depends. Uh, and, uh, God, it's probably going to be a small one. We're going to try and do like a one day tournament just to get it over with. Um, we have the people, uh, we have the support from, uh, the local business we use, uh, another old time friend of mine started up comic book shop, uh, the beginning of last year. And he's like, dude, come on over. That'd be great. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, thank you. Anyone who turned in, uh, we will be, I'm going to try and start putting these things on YouTube. Um, because I, I like just having, the the extra media and being able to chop it up i just gotta have the time so uh we'll catch you guys all later and uh thank you for watching oh uh tune in probably sometime this weekend we'll be doing uh the finals i'll break down the finals with some highlights and stuff all right later